you know, I ought to tell you guys what I've been doing for the past weekend. And that is, that is more or less a bunch of relaxation and drinking coffee. Mm. You know, I think Love's is probably my favorite place. They have the best coffee. They have the best point system. And personally, they have the best restaurants. Other than Arby's, I mean, Subway, Chester's Chicken, McDonald's, sometimes. Not taken away from places like, say, TA or Petro, they have uh, their own little restaurant. So, and sometimes pilots or flying J's have um, Denny's at them. So, you know, personally, I believe Love's is probably the best truck stop. mainly just because they have the best point system out there. Now that being said, Petro and TA have the reserve at parking or whatever. And uh, many pilots also have a, a reserve at program where you get to reserve a parking spot for the night or whatever. It's not, it's really not a bad idea when you think about it. <clears throat> and, uh, I guess it's just, you know, it just really depends where you're at, really. I mean, not, not all truck stops will be perfect. Uh, not all truck stops will have the perfect amount of truck uh, of uh, parking spots. And uh, when you're a truck driver, there's a certain time where you just don't drive at all. A certain time of day where, where you just don't drive. And it just so happens to be that time, actually. It's about... 9 a.m. Central Standard Time and uh, I'm about to start my driving for the day. Luckily for me I'm not in any major city right now. I'm actually on the border of Alabama and Mississippi on I-20 and 59. Uh, getting ready to head south on 59. Um, so, you know, just old regular Sunday, I, I guess. Which comes to my next topic of this video. I'm thinking about switching companies. I'm not sure if I've said this, um, said this or not in past videos, but I've been thinking about changing companies, and I've gotten it down to at least two: um, Schaefer Trucking and Dart. Now, Schaefer does primarily refrigeration, so that'd be that'd be fantastic. I mean, a lot of other companies does refrigeration. I'm pretty sure Dart has their own refrigeration unit or ref refrigeration fleet, and it's probably just teams only. Noting, knowing big companies like that, uh, Schaefer is owned by Crete. That being said, and um, I have passed a lot of Crete trucks and trailers quite often in this truck. So, you know, at the end of the day, would it be worth it to join up with Schaefer? Yeah. All I need to do is just call them up and say, all right, get me a route that's close to home get me home every weekend or every other weekend let me have holidays off 
so on and so forth. And that's that's pretty much all I really ask for for a company. That and above great pay. And they've already told me that I should that if I were to join up with them, I would be started out 49 to 51 cents a mile because of my two to three years experience. That's pretty good. It's pretty good starting out with a pay like that and hauling produce along either the East Coast or just wherever. Now, I've been doing this alone for over two and a half years. I started this out alone. And I've pretty much been alone the entire time. The only time that I ever wasn't alone was when I was with a trainer. And to me, that, that's, that only counts as training. That doesn't really count as, you know, actual actually experiencing teams. Now, I did get a feel for teams when I was working for Rotex. <sighs> but I didn't really enjoy it like I thought I was going to enjoy it. Or at least the aspect. All I really thought about was, I'm going to get my own truck, I'm going to be alone, and I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to do whatever I want to do. That was my initial thought process when I was first doing the truck driving stuff. So, I don't know, whenever whenever I went back to Celadon and Osborne, well, no, when I went back to Celadon and they hooked me on with Osborne, that was, that was pretty much the first time I actually experienced being alone and I still am alone I still am alone to this day and you know it's it's very much enjoyable being alone because you don't ever ha you don't ever have to worry about asshole teammates that are either that either don't want to work or don't want to get up or wake up late or do whatever or they're sick and you got to cover for them, which is also very much illegal. Mm. This is some really good coffee. This is how you wake up every morning. Wake up every morning, go into the loves, get your free cup of coffee, and just... It's so good. It's so good that I really wish I was at home right now. <laughs> Personally though, in the near future, I have my own stove, right? I talked about this. I talked about having my own stove, um, my own portable stove in this truck. If I could find it really quick. Can't. I can't find it in this fucking mess of a truck. But um, I had the stove. Oh, here it is. Here's the stove. Here's the stove. Yes, this is an actual stove. It heats up to uh, 300, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. It's pretty hot. It's kind of dirty. It's kind of dirty right now because I actually used it to uh, heat up some uh, chicken, some KFC chicken. And uh, I actually attempted 
to Oop, that's not what I want to do. Uh, I actually used it to attempt to heat up some uh, soup. Some like beef soup, some chicken noodle soup. I mean, it doesn't entirely work like I really wanted it to. But if you leave it alone for like five or maybe, no, like for 10 or 20 minutes, maybe you'd get a, a nice, nice hot chicken noodle soup. Yeah, it's a, it's a fucking waiting game, but at the end of the day, you have some fucking soup. So, I don't know, I, I might end up using that a lot more often than I think I would. And then, um, and then in an eventual future, I'm just going to start collecting like all the Road Pro stuff. This was made by uh, Road, Road Pro. You can see the little logo right there, maybe. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this, this is made by Road Pro. And this, uh, this, this takes 12 amps or 114, uh, 144 watts to uh, power. You just stick it into your cigarette lighter with this and uh, heat up your soup or food or whatever I'm fairly certain you can like you can make stuff maybe and um, that being said I, I, I know that there's more road pro products and truck stops everywhere because uh, I've seen them so yeah I've seen them I've been looking at them and I might just end up start collecting them slowly. Just so I can like use them for certain purposes or needs such as, oh, I don't know, um, cooking, who knows? I, I mean, I would, I would much, much like to cook. Um, that being said, it would be hell of a lot more efficient for me to just cook my own food instead of just relying on these fast food places I think that's really <clears throat> how you know things should really work but enable for me to cook food I need a refrigerator in my truck and I don't have the space in this truck definitely don't have the space for this fucking truck to um get a fridge but I do I do want to get one of those uh, coolers that also use one of these you plug it in and it cools uh, it works like a little mini fridge in your vehicle so you know it's very very nice idea that road pro has has been doing I don't I don't know how long they've been doing that but I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna start doing that and not to also mention, I'm going to be get home on Wednesday or Thursday, and then I'll be getting my laptop pretty much the same exact day. Or no, my laptop will be deliver, deliver, delivering at my house on Tuesday in about two days. I'm so excited. And even if it doesn't deliver at my house on Tuesday, it'll get there on Wednesday, and I might get home either very late on Wednesday or very early on Thursday because um, I deliver let me see I deliver over in uh, where is it I can't find it. Oh, here it is. I deliver over in Riceboro. Riceboro, Georgia. On the 29th, which is Thursday. At around 9 in the morning. And depending on where Riceboro is at compared to where my, my house is at. It might take like, oh, an hour or two just to get home. Which I don't care at that point. I'm going home, so... You know, as, as long as it's not going to take, like, an entire day just to get home, then 
you know, should be fine. And, you know, I, I should be fine at that point. So, you know, pretty excited. Pretty happy that I'm going to get home, get my laptop, and then be on the road with the laptop. <clears throat> I do know that I need to just take an entire day and clean out my fucking truck. The initial plan today was to wake up as early as possible, but I'm just so tired. I've, I've just been really tired that whenever I have a trip that will take literally 12 hours to just fucking do, I like to take my time. I like to take my sweet ass time because I'm not in a hurry. I like to take my time, go whenever I can see, and not have to worry about nighttime driving at all. And I deliver in Houston at like 11 in the morning, and then, let's see, deliver in Houston at 11 in the morning, then I have to go on the other side of Houston maybe at around uh, 2.30 and then be at some other place in Houston at around 6. So it's going to be it's going to be a really long day tomorrow at least and I'm going to try to get get to these places as early as possible just so I can get unloaded as quickly as possible and uh, you know I'm going to try my best to help unload if uh, if they need me to help unload but actually no I'm probably just going to help unload anyways so who knows anyways I'm going to go ahead and get going because I'm Is somebody honking at me? Because I'm in a parking spot. Well, anyways, I'd better get going. Um, and then I'll probably just go straight to bed. Because I'm just fucking tired. I don't know. I'm going to try to wake up, though. And uh, for those of you that also wonder why I go go to um, Love's, mainly because of this, Tire Pass. Whenever you have a chance, whenever you have time to spare, always do a Tire Pass. So you at least always have a fucking point to spare to use for a Tire Pass. And I, I am Platinum right now. So I get unlimited tire pass points. And I'm at least platinum for the rest of the month. At least until I get platinum for the next month, which I'm hoping that I'll get. Um, by, the, uh, by the time I get home, I should, I should have uh, enough points to get. Or uh, no, I, I should have enough um fuel mileage I, I guess it's called no I don't know how many more times I have to fuel to get platinum again but I'm pretty sure I have it for next month as well so if not then oh freaking well and I'll just deal with it anyways I'm gonna get going um, the podcast will be up sometime either today or tomorrow uh, depending on when spike gets done editing or adding the um, text things that he likes doing um, we do apologize for late um, e3 and analysis results and whatever and um, we pretty much just went over a list because we pretty much forgot about what happened the entire week last week um, and we were just so fucking busy with pretty much everything you could think of spike had two appointments um, I think it was Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, I was fucking tired all week that week. Luna forgot. And 
I don't know. We're, we're trying to get our friend Shade into um, a podcast. We're, we're going to try to get him into the next one, uh, which we will do uh, right before the 4th of July. I'm going to try to get everybody in for uh, a 4th of July podcast. And, um, well, I, I guess we'll just see what happens from there. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and really, thank you guys for sticking with me for so long. I, I mean, I don't know how many times I've just forgotten about YouTube. And it, it's not that I don't I don't want to record. It's just I'm too fucking tired to record. It, and, you know, it's things like this that just makes me happy that you know i have i have time to actually want to record or mm, drink a cup of coffee or stream i like streaming you guys know me by now i'm a streamer i like streaming and when blog tv returns i will be on blog tv almost every fucking saturday uh i'm on twitter I'm going to try to tweet almost once, like, maybe once a week. And then I'm probably just going to forget about it again. <laughs> but I've been trying to keep on track with Twitter. And, oh, jeez. Even with Twitter, um, Twitter updates whenever I upload a video anyways. So I guess that's kind of good. It's technically Twitter updating. But, um, you know, whatever, I suppose. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get going for now. So thank you guys so much for watching. <sighs> Hit that subscribe button if you like this sort of kind of stuff. I will be back home on Thursday, most likely. <clears throat> and uh, I will most likely stream on Twitch almost every single day and I want to try to tr uh, stream once on that fucking laptop and at the same time try to set up a Minecraft server so we can do a, a, a series of some sort so anyways thank you guys so much for watching and as always I will see you guys in the next video bye bye